He was right. Michio Kaku was absolutely right when he said, the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope will challenge our understanding of the beginning of the universe. The telescope discovered 10 galaxies that would be older than the universe if our current standards and calculations are correct. But how can that be? Are we looking into a parallel world? Or were our scientists simply wrong when they claimed that our cosmos was created 13.8 billion years ago by an event called the Big Bang? Michio Kaku emphasizes that it takes many billions of years to form a galaxy like the Milky Way with 100 billion stars and more. However, the James Webb Telescope has discovered six galaxies that existed only half a billion years after the Big Bang and were up to 10 times larger than the Milky Way. This contradicts previous assumptions that there should be no such large and old galaxies at such an early stage of the universe. Kaku suggested that our theories about the origin of the universe may need to be revised as a result of these discoveries. Let's take a look at these theories. The science of the universe as a whole relies on several fundamental theories dating back to Newton's theory of gravity, and that was in 1687. Isaac Newton's Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica describes gravity as a universal force of attraction between masses. Newton's theory was sufficiently accurate for many everyday phenomena, but it reached its limits in the cosmos and was extended by Einstein's general theory of relativity for large masses and high speeds. In 1915, Albert Einstein revolutionized our understanding of gravity. The general theory of relativity describes gravity as a curvature of space-time caused by masses. To this day, it remains the best theory for describing gravity and the dependencies of common physical forces in the universe. General relativity fits particularly well on a large cosmological scale and in the vicinity of massive objects such as black holes. However, it fails in the world of subatomic particles and in the realm of dark matter and energy. The Big Bang theory goes back to George Lemaitre, who, based on Einstein's theories and astronomical observations, postulated that the universe began as an extremely hot and dense point and has been expanding ever since. Since 1927, it has become a basic assumption in cosmology, and although it's a purely mathematical construct, it has become a kind of truth that many people still believe in today. In 1980, the inflation theory, conceived as an extension of the Big Bang theory, was added. The astrophysicist Alan Guth and others postulated an extremely rapid expansion of the universe in the first moments after the Big Bang, which could explain some phenomena that had been inconsistent up to that point. Dark matter and dark energy are also two concepts that have almost become physical truths although there is no evidence for their existence. The theory of dark matter and dark energy basically states that dark matter influences the movements of galaxies and galaxy clusters through its gravitational effect, while dark energy is said to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. Both are hypotheses that have been introduced to explain certain astronomical observations that are not consistent with existing theories. However, the gravitational effects allegedly caused by dark matter can also be explained in another way. Around 1920, an alternative theory emerged that could explain the gravitational effects in the universe without the assumption of dark matter. In the 1980s, the Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram developed this approach further and called his explanatory model MOND for Modified Newtonian Dynamics. According to Newton's theory of gravity and the general theory of relativity, the rotational velocities of stars and galaxies should decrease with increasing distance from the center. However, observations show that the stars in the outer regions of galaxies rotate faster than these theories actually allow. This has traditionally been explained by the existence of dark matter, which exerts additional gravitational forces. Mond postulates that Newton's theory of gravity is no longer valid at the very weak accelerations that occur in the outer regions of galaxies. Instead, the approach proposes a modification of the laws of gravity that does not require dark matter. So far, however, none of these theories have been able to explain the whole of creation. Let us therefore also look at two other exciting theories, string theory and M-theory. Both emerged at the end of the 20th century and attempted to bring together the world of large phenomena 
such as stars and galaxies, with the world of the smallest phenomena, quanta, and subatomic particles. String theory assumes that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point particles, but vibrating strings. If we then assume that there are around 10 dimensions of these strings, most of the formulas of the macrocosm can be reconciled with the physical laws of the microcosm. Five variants of string theory exist, and these have been united in the so-called M-theory. It extends the concept of one-dimensional strings to multidimensional objects, the so-called membranes. String theory and M-theory are pure speculation and have not yet been confirmed experimentally. What does Maisie's galaxy reveal? Maisie's galaxy was named after the daughter of astronomer Stephen Finkelstein. Finkelstein discovered the galaxy on his daughter's birthday, and this discovery will most likely go down in the history of astronomy. With an estimated age of only 390 million years after the Big Bang, this galaxy is a window into an era of the universe that we have barely understood. Maisie's galaxy gives us a glimpse into a time when the universe was only about 2.8% of its current age. This discovery challenges our previous assumptions about the timescale of galaxy formation and the role of dark matter in this process. Dark matter is thought to make up about 85% of all matter, and it plays a central role in current models of galaxy evolution. But it has a catch. We can't see it, and its existence is ultimately unproven. Dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic radiation. It does not absorb or emit light, so it remains invisible to telescopes. The existence and properties of this mysterious mass are mainly perceived through its gravitational effects on visible matter and the movement of galaxies and galaxy clusters. In standard models of cosmology, dark matter is thought to promote the formation of galaxy halos in which visible matter then collects and eventually condenses into stars and galaxies. The discovery of Macy's galaxy and other similarly old galaxies raises new questions. Not only are these galaxies older than expected, but their size and structure seem to contradict current models. Until now, it was assumed that it takes billions of years to form complex and massive galaxies like the Milky Way, which contains about 100 billion stars and has a diameter of around 100,000 light years. The existence of galaxies that form just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang could be evidence that the processes of star formation and galaxy evolution may be faster than previously thought, or these discoveries may definitively overturn previous theories. These observations could indicate that ordinary matter, the matter that makes up stars, planets, and ourselves, may have played a more important role in early galaxy evolution than previously thought. This is in contrast to the prevailing view that dark matter was the dominant factor in this process. The discovery of Maisie's galaxy is not only a challenge to the Big Bang theory, but also to all previous models of galaxy evolution. The fact that galaxies like Maisie's galaxy existed at a time when the universe was supposedly still in its infancy sheds a whole new light on the conditions of the early universe a time that we have so far only inferred from theoretical models and not from direct observations. Was it all wrong? The discovery of extremely old galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope, especially those that may be older than previously thought, thus calls into question a whole range of established cosmological theories and gives a boost to variants such as the Mond theory. In particular, the Big Bang theory and the associated models of galaxy evolution are now being put to the test. However, we must be clear that these new discoveries do not necessarily overturn all of these theories. Some of them very likely need to be reconsidered, extended, and refined. The Big Bang theory postulates that the universe began from an extremely hot and dense initial state and has been expanding ever since. The discovery of very old galaxies could call into question the timescale of this expansion, especially if we consider that these galaxies existed in a highly evolved state 300 million years after the Big Bang. Since galaxies, as Michio Kaku mentioned, take billions of years to form, something in the calculations can't be quite right here, because that would make these galaxies older than the universe itself. Nevertheless, this does not necessarily mean that the whole theory is wrong. Perhaps the universe is just significantly older, 20 or 50 billion years. 
This inflation theory explains how the early universe expanded exponentially in a fraction of a second. But the speeds and structures assumed so far do not match James Webb's discovery of very old galaxies. But perhaps we have also fundamentally misunderstood something about the formation of matter. Traditional models of galaxy evolution are based on the assumption that it takes a long time to form large and complex structures like the ones we have just seen. The existence of these very old galaxies could also simply indicate that these processes could take place faster than previously assumed. Possibly, the galaxies discovered by James Webb and jokingly referred to as Universe Breakers will also refine our knowledge of dark matter and dark energy. For those with an open mind, the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope could be an opportunity to improve existing theories and get a little closer to the truth. Even crazier Schrodinger's galaxy? Scientists who are already tearing their hair out over Macy's galaxy are really going crazy over Schrodinger's galaxy. This enigmatic object was also discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. This galaxy has two completely different values for its usually reliable age measurements. So, it looks as if it's in two places or at two times at the same time. Anyone with a little knowledge of quantum mechanics knows that this is a typical property of quanta, the light particles that form matter. The galaxy oddity was therefore named after the famous Schrodinger's cat thought experiment by quantum physicist Erwin Schrodinger. The galaxy is located at such a great distance that its light indicates that the galaxy only existed around 200 million years after the Big Bang. This would make it one of the oldest galaxies we have ever been able to observe. The comparison measurement showed an age that was much smaller, and since this confusing measurement, neither age has been confirmed. The brightness of Schrodinger's galaxy is another mystery. It appears unusually bright for a galaxy from this early epoch of the universe, again leaving scientists with questions about how stars and galaxies formed so quickly. Become a subscriber now to never miss another incredible video.